Hello everybody and welcome back to Angry Birds Star Wars 2. This is episode 13 and we're about to go on to what I'm calling the Battle of Geonosis. Now you may be wondering, how do I know so much? Well, I've already recorded this video. <laughs> As you can see, I am not controlling this right now. I am watching a recording of me recording it. Well, me recording it, replaying it, same thing. And yeah, so basically what happened was the audio was just... It, was, it wasn't good. Just put it like that. It wasn't great, um, I just didn't want to upload it like that. And yeah, I just... Hey, quality man, it's quality. I need to do it for my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, it was just all fuzzy. I'll put in a clip of what it was like. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Angry Birds Star Wars 2. This is episode 13, I think. And we are moving on to... So, yeah. I didn't want to upload anything with that noise and that, and it just wasn't good. I don't know what happened. Uh, my mic just seemed to be a bit funny in that moment, I don't know why. Uh, I didn't realise until I finished the recording, I thought there was something wrong with my recording thing, but no, it's fine. I think it's my mic, but my mic sounds better now, that's what I'm saying. Um, it kind of like, it was muted for some reason, um, so I unmuted it and I've been doing a couple of tests ever since I recorded the episode, trying to figure out what the problem was, and yeah, I think it's the fact that it was muted, so I'll keep that in mind. I'm learning, so don't charge the device while you're recording, otherwise it gives off a eerie noise. And don't make your mic muted, which seems obvious now that I'm saying it out loud. But yeah, I'm not even paying attention to the gameplay. Uh, if we're on... did I just see that was stage 2 there? I think this is stage 2, because don't look like stage 1. So yeah, these levels were really great. I really enjoyed these levels. Um, I was really confused though, because I thought this was going to be episode 3. But it's still episode 2 um, in the Jedi levels. It's the Battle of Geonosis. So, surprisingly, no Mace Windu actually in this world. But there is Kit Fisto. He's coming up soon, you'll see. And yeah, I've been get I got three stars on the first few levels, so that's what you're seeing now. I really like the um, Django, um, what do you call it, gimmick, where he's like flying around and he shoots and you have to like time it right. Also, you're watching a very cut down version because I didn't know how long I could talk for <laughs> in this. Is it what am I going to call it? Is it a director's commentary? <laughs> I don't even know if I'll label it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll just label it a normal episode and write director's commentary in it. Is it a director? I guess it's just a commentary. I'm just commentating over my um, video, which the audio failed in. And yeah, I just I really didn't want to upload that because I could have. I might I could have just uploaded it and been done with that, but. Um, no, I, did, I didn't want to. I didn't feel like I'd be doing the right thing, so I decided to, yeah. I thought commentating over this would be fine. Um, it's a little bit more one-on-one, um, -on -one, even though I can't see you, hear you, or talk to you. So it's just one on myself. <laughs> it's so, it's like, I haven't really made content like this before. Like, I don't know if it's a good thing. If you enjoy it, I might do more. Like, and record it, because it is kind of a hassle to, like, sync them up and record it at the same time, because you have two devices, you need to make sure you're recording on one and line up in the next. I have to do a whole thing before the episode starts, where I go shop, 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 where I open up the shop and close it, open it, close it, just to sync it up. You do that with most videos, but, yeah, it's annoying. But this, like, I guess you could just record it, edit it, and then commentate over it, because... Well, I'm not really commentating over the video right now, am I? I mean, I don't even know what <laughs> level we are on at this point. That's another thing as well about this world. Um, I was disappointed by the lack of levels. Um, so in the first few worlds, I'm just going to judge this off by stars. Uh, well, no, I know how many were anyway. So in the first few worlds, there was 20 levels and four special stages in levels, no worlds, one, two, and three. And then four, there was um. 20 levels and two bonus levels and I thought that was pushing it. I think if all the worlds had that, that'd be great because then that's 66 stars. But then this world um, has 48 stars so that means only 16 levels and no bonuses. Like, it's just, it seems rushed or lack of ideas for what levels we're going to do, what we're going to do, they're going to do. So, I did I was a little bit disappointed by that because I was definitely looking forward to these levels the most. The uh, Revenge of the Sith is my favourite um, Star Wars movie. Well, I would say my favourite. It's my favourite prequel movie. And I was really looking forward to these levels. These levels are great. I wouldn't say as good as the Attack of the Clones levels or the Rise of the Clones, whatever it's called in this game. But um, 
yeah, it's, it's this was my favourite movie. I'm a little disappointed as well that it isn't just this movie. Like, I guess you can really do much from that movie. But, um, it is the Battle of Geonosis. They could have just put that in as the Sith levels, could they not? Um, it would have made more sense. We didn't need that whole Camino part in retrospect, but... Uh, oh, here, here's Kit Fisto, by the way. <laughs> I'm probably going to use that as the thumbnail, the top bit. Because, I don't know, that encapsulates um, what the Battle of Geonosis is. But anyway, so yeah. It's only 16 levels. Um, yeah, it makes for easier for making videos, so I don't need to cut out all my mistakes as much. Even though I don't really make much mistakes in these levels. It was only one that I got. I think it's. No, no, I'll point it out. I don't think it's this one. But, um, I only made loads of mistakes on one of the levels, so I guess it's easier to record now that there's only 16 levels. But, like, because in the first few worlds, I had to split the videos up into two per world. Well, two per section of worlds, so two for Jedi, two for, um, Sith. I did experiment with, um, doing. Uh, Sif in one episode in the second world, but it came out as way too long and way too hard to edit. It like went up to like nearly an hour and dare I say half. I'm pretty sure it was like 15 minutes or something like that. But so I didn't want to do that again with those big worlds. But then when I saw that Attack of the Clones was only it didn't have the two bonus levels, I was like, oh, I could do these in one episode. And then I didn't realize this would be only 16 levels, so I could definitely do this in one episode. Oh, by the way, what you're looking on screen right now, um, I didn't want to redo it, um, because I, I just want to continue on and see more of the battle, so I just used two of my young Skywalkers there, <laughs> and in the actual video I was going, and Skywalker, and Skywalker, but, eh, yeah, you didn't see that funny epic montage there, because, again, the audio cut out. Like I said, I'm, I'm learning, I'm not <laughs> an expert at YouTube in no way, like, I'm not claiming to be, I don't think I'm good at YouTube in a way, that's probably why I'm doing a Let's Play on Angry Birds, but um, this is more of just a revisiting series, because I, I really wanted to play these games again, and I really, I really wanted to have a reason to complete them, because I haven't really completed them. Well, I've played them, but I haven't really freestarted every single level, and I wanted a reason for me to go back and do that, and this YouTube series was just perfect, because you get to re-experience it, and then I get to replay it, you get to re-see it, just in case you can download it again. And, it, yeah, I just think it's good for everyone, I think it's a good series. I've, I've been having a lot of fun doing the series. But, um, and you guys seem to be having fun as well, because, what was it, the, uh, the first video's got nearly like 100 views, which is crazy, like individual views, not just someone re-watching it again. Like, I've got to admit, I've watched that video like five times over, <laughs> mainly because, I don't know, just did. Um, and I've watched every single one of my videos at least once just to check it's all okay because sometimes I just like to double check because I just feel self-conscious that something's gotten wrong. So yeah, um, at least one of the views has come from me. <laughs> but um, Oh, here's Kit Visto by the way. This was the level. This was the level that it took me ages and I definitely cut out a lot of it. It may only be two things. No, I did put in two things to make me look better but um, <laughs> Yeah, this took me a while, mainly because I couldn't figure out how he works. Because he works like Yoda, but he doesn't bounce as much, and I thought he would. Like, if you look at his lightsaber there, it doesn't, it doesn't go over nearly as long. And you have to activate it at the right time so he cuts through the wood and then continues. Because you can't just hit the wood and then... So yeah, that's what I figured out how to do. This run was actually pretty good. If I stayed with it and didn't restart, I probably... Well, apart from that idiotic move, but um, I probably would have got it. So, but then I did loads of other turns, and this is the successful one. I can already tell, so I'll go for that at the beginning. When all the other times I went for the top three balls. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, um, the first video's got like 100 views, which is crazy, but then the um, Qui Gon's death video, that's got like well over 100 views by now, and it grows like 10 views every day. I'm just I'm surprised. Because, like, I didn't think that video was the best video out of all of them. Personally, I think the. Rise of the Clones video is my favourite personally, but that's just my favourite levels, I don't know how enjoyable it is to someone on the outside. But, um, yeah, Jesus, like, I did not expect that, like, it literally grows 10 views, like, every day, I don't know, like, roughly. And I just don't realise what, what's so good about it, <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just thankful. Um, a lot of likes as well, like, a lot more likes than I normally get on YouTube, and, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just really thankful for all you people who are just actually properly sticking with this series like and you know you're probably sticking with it because you're listening to this point 
like 10 minutes exactly into a video of me just blabbering on whoa angry birds stuff is in the background um yeah just thank thank you for sticking with me and i don't know having faith <laughs> in this series and my capability as an angry birds player angry birds pro i'm no way good at angry birds to be honest like if you look at this <laughs> look at it i didn't even realize he was still left i thought he was a part of the environment so I had to send my final guy after him, and then I got like two stars or something like that instead of three stars, and it was bloody annoying, but you know. And then I keep using the characters from the um, egg thing, but like, that's a mechanic in the game. They want me to use that mechanic, so why not use it? I like this level, by the way, it's a cool concept. If only I did it right. If only I could do it right instead of messing it up twice. But, um, it, it, yeah. Sorry, my mouth's getting dry now. I've been speaking for ten minutes. Jesus. <laughs> I'm not used to this. I'm normally just hiding in my room playing Batman. <laughs> now I'm actually probably talking for 10 minutes straight in the camera and I've got like another 8 minutes to go so I guess we're stuck in for the long haul now. Thank you all for... Oh, I really hope this saves. If this doesn't save, I'm generally going to be busy. I might just upload the video as a silent track and just I know, put subtitles over my expressions at different points. Because if this doesn't, I'm pretty sure it will save. I did tests before the video started. I took many tests this time just to make sure. I'm gonna take many tests in the future to prevent this from happening because I am enjoying doing this, but like, I, I prefer the commentary over the videos. And then these commentaries, I guess I could do more if you enjoy them. Leave a like if you do enjoy them. Maybe comment as well so I know you're at this point because I don't know, not many people will be. <laughs> um, and that's what's getting Kit Fisto for the, um, what do you call it? Reward chapter. I have been doing the reward chapter um, on my spare time. Um, but uh, yeah, I've I just been stuck into getting the free stars because the free stars, um, it's, it's weird. The free stars in the first world and the second world, well, half the second world were easy, but then they got really hard in the second world to third world. But then the ones in the fourth world were really easy. And then the special stages, I've been free starring them without any trouble on my first go. Like, it, it's gotten really easy, and I don't know if that's because I'm getting better, or because they're getting worse with their level design. I would like to say it's me getting better, because I really don't want to knock this game, because I do really love this game. And I really wish I had the first Star Wars game installed on this. I had it on my... What was it called? It was an iPad. It was like the... It wasn't even the Amazon iPad. That's the fire. It was the Tesco one. I'm pretty sure it was called a Hiddle, or a Huddle. It was one of them, and I had it on there. I had Clash of Clans, Gravity Rush, like all these other games that were on there. Oh my god, I need to find that thing. Maybe that's a video of its own, looking at all the videos I have on, or all the um, games I have on there. Maybe all the pictures as well. Oh my god, I probably have so many primary pictures on that thing. Because that was my device. Like, um, we, like, we didn't have enough money for like iPads and stuff, and I wasn't really into what everyone else was into. So, I only got an iPhone 4 when I joined Academy, when everyone else already had their iPhone like 5s and 6s and like P607 or whatever year it was they came out. Like, because I was happy, I was content with my iPhone 4, but then like upgraded to an iPhone 5 just out of necessity because like apparently they were going to shut down the iPhone 4 or something like that at the time, but they ended up not. And pr I love my iPhone 5 now, and I don't think I'm going to upgrade until I absolutely need to because I just don't see the purpose. I, I just want to keep my phone. My phone does what I like, and it's got good storage. Well, I say it's got good storage. Most of these videos do test it at some times, <laughs> and I have to lower the quality a bit. But I still think they come out great. And when I, I don't know, mature in YouTube, that's not me saying, oh, I'm mature in, like, um, age or something like that. But when I mature on YouTube and, uh, I don't know, uh, get better at it, use computers a lot, I would use my laptop. I've looked into using my laptop. But it's just, it's not good. <laughs> it's really not good. Um, it's so slow. I can barely do my schoolwork, to be honest. Oh yeah, I was really pissed off there, so I used um, another one of the captain guys. But um, yeah, uh, if I get an actual PC one day or a better laptop, I will convert over to maybe us using Adobe in that and uh, getting a, a screen recorder, a proper one and everything. And I, I still, I love mo mobile gaming. It's just really, it's quick and easy, it's really fun, and games like this just are so much fun to play through. But then, like, games you get the stuff like the crappier ones now, which are just runners. Like, I just, uh, mobile games gone down the toilet a bit, in my opinion. 
and then them delisting like 19 of their Angry Birds games. Like most of them, yeah, they were like pop games, but like some of them were Angry Birds Go, all the Star Wars ones. And I think that's maybe because of Disney, but I doubt it. Because, you know, like I said, there's Rebels in this game, and that's Disney owned, unless their contract ran out. But I don't think so. This is the final level, by the way, so I should probably wrap it up soon. Because I think I kill. <laughs> I think I killed Dooku with Yoda and I made a joke about um, it not being a test of force but a test of their <laughs> use with a lightsaber or something stupid like that. Oh god, I'm so cringy when I look back on myself but here we go. <laughs> that was the moment. And then, yeah, that's it. And then the rest, I'm pretty sure it's just five minutes for me talking about the stage thing which I mentioned throughout this video. Where I'm talking, about. here's the final boards as well. Like that shot looks like the one from the other one. I think they just reused the same image. There, like, yeah, like I said, it looks like the cutting corners at the end. But I don't want to say that. I don't want to knock the game because it is an amazing game and I really do love it. But um, yeah, so you can see there, 48 stars, and then I show the 36 stars for Rebels. Jesus Christ, that's going to be so short. I might as well just do it in one episode. To be honest. Oh, that's most far, by the way. That's where we'll be going next episode, hopefully with live commentary. But um, yeah, the first six stars on Rebels, I was shocked when I saw that, when I pan over to it in a sec. This is me, yeah, this is me telling you that it should be 66, so 66 stars for all of them, especially for this one, because we ordered 66 and everything. But yeah, the, the Rebels one, I'm, I was looking forward to Rebels, I thought it was going to be 72 stars, but no, it turns out it is 36 stars. Um, I don't think I'll do it in one episode, though. I think I will still split it up, and then I will do Master Your Destiny after it. Like, why couldn't you take some of the Master Your Own Destinies? Um, levels and put them, where you skin them and put them in here. It's just it's, it's mind boggling. I don't I don't know why they didn't do it, but yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. Now I'm gonna cut it a little bit short now because we only got a minute left. You don't need to see this last minute. So if you really did like, I really enjoyed this video. Surprising, I thought I'd just sit down, quick record this. I didn't even know I talked through the entire thing. It's kind of like a podcast, but just myself. And <laughs> yeah, if you enjoyed it, um, just yeah, com comment down below. Tell me you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I probably just should say that at the beginning of the episodes, to be honest, because no one's going to sit through to the very end and listen through all this while I'm flicking through the menus. But yeah, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.